Hello everybody and welcome back to Valhalsia Tree. Today we set up some biodiesel generators and an arc furnace. So we can recycle stuff and these generators are going to power our excavators we set up last episode. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today I am going to be working on upgrading our power using immersive engineering, using the bio uh, generator, the biodiesel generator. There we go. And I'm going to make an arc furnace to do a bit of arc furnace recycling. So to get started, we are going to need to gather all the materials we're going to need to actually make this bio generator. And I'm going to make two of them. Uh, so that will equal at least 8,000 RF. And these all together, I think these guys produce 2,000 each. So two of these furnaces is equivalent to one of our biodiesel generators, whatever. Diesel generator. And I've only got two. So if I had a second one down, it would equal the same. Uh, but if I can generate 8,000 and I need 40 and I only need two of the other things and... I get the stuff passively, all of the materials needed to make biodiesel. Why not just do it that way? So, to make everything, we're going to need steel scaffolding. So if I go to at immersive engineering, we might already have a lot of the stuff we need from last episode when we made the excavators. So, steel scaffolding. Um, we need to have a look and make sure, because if I want to make two of these things, I need to make sure I make enough. So I need at least 12 scaffolding. I have 30. Okay, plenty. We're going to need 9 radiator blocks, 18 radiator blocks. And we have 3. I need buckets of water, so... Buckets? I, where do my buckets keep going? Alright, that should be plenty of water. <laughs> we won't need to worry about water for any time soon. So, 7. And we're out of steel sheet metal. Okay, steel. No problem. I've actually been uh, just working on making a ton of steel. So, we have a look here. We have 1.4k steel. So that's plenty for what we need. Uh, so steel sheet metal is done like this. Make a full stack. And 11. And 15. Maybe one more. There we go. 19. So there we go. Next we're going to now need generator blocks. Generator blocks is just electrum. And we should actually have some electrum. We need a kinetic dynamo. Which is simple enough. Actually, how many of these things do we need? Uh, generator blocks, we need eight of them. Okay, I need two kinetic dynamos. And I I'm out of copper. Right, okay. Um, Give me some copper. And actually, we need electrum, so... Let me grab some steel. Not steel, uh, silver. Yeah, silver and gold. And since last episode, we've actually mined up about 385 nether gold nugget ore. So that's actually quite a lot compared to what I was actually thinking. Okay, there's some bronze, but I'm going to put these in here because I'm making off some electrum. Come back inside. And do I actually have any electrum? E -le I actually don't think I do. Do I? No, I don't. Okay, so we'll have to wait until... That one over there in our alloy kiln smelts. So, hammer. Got plenty of those hammers. There we go. Now we need a wire cutters. There we go. Make some copper wire. Like so. Now we can make our second kinetic dynamo. Wait, not just yet. We need to make low voltage wire. Two sets of that. And now we can make our kinetic dynamo. We need to make our second copper coil. Now we can make our second kinetic dynamo. And all we have to wait now is for the electrum. So while the electrum smells, let's get out everything else. We need one redstone engineering block, so that means we need two. There we go, two of them. And last but not least, we need fluid pipe. Do I actually have any fluid pipe left over? Doesn't look like it, so I'm going to make... Probably about another 24 of it. Okay, yeah, that should be good. How are we doing on the Electrum? Surely enough, we have a couple of ingots. Ah, oh, yeah, plenty now. 
I think it makes two per smelt, but that's fine. Put them in here. Electron plates. Put that in there. Generator block. Yes. All right, perfect. So now we can come over here and actually build this. I'm not going to bother with the projector because this is actually quite a simple structure. So if we actually complete the build here, you can see in the 3D model, we have an input on the left and right side, and we've also got power output on the top and the front. So I was kind of thinking, I was going to have the input on this side coming in from this because I actually replaced the tank that was there, and I have ran a cable under the ground here from our system, and it is now inputting potatoes. And the only issue is we're actually really low on power, so this is actually barely keeping up. And then we got some phantoms coming in. So I'm going to have to go quickly sleep. Right, so what we can do is unpause this and come back down to the first level. And we know the pipes are where the front is. So we actually want to build it like this. If I, I hate this rotation thing, it's so annoying. Alright, we need to build it somewhat like that. So the thing is 5 by 3 so up here, we want to put down where we want it to start, which I'm going to put probably right here. That will give us enough time just to come out the front, and I'm going to build a second one right there as well. So that will come down here, and I think it comes down two here as well. No, it comes down three. And then it's surrounded by a generator block, and then at the back it is radiator blocks and steel scaffolding. So, three radiator blocks at the back, and the rest is all steel scaffolding. Next step is more radiator blocks, and then all heavy. Oh, wait, that's a block we never got with heavy. Uh, okay, um, heavy engineering blocks. We have one. We need to make way more. Alright, that should be plenty of them. 41 of them. Probably didn't need that many. I only needed, like, I don't know, 36 of them? Actually, not even that much. Anyway, so we now have to put a shape like that. So we need to go up another three in the front with these engineering or generator blocks. So this across the top. We put a redstone block here. And then the rest is all heavy engineering blocks. Next step is uh, X pattern and then three. So one, two, three, that, and then one, two, three. Now all we have to do is grab ourselves a hammer. And I think, what block does it say we need to hit the front middle one? No? Oh, there we go. Okay. For a second, I thought it didn't work. Bad for the environment. What's that give us? Formed a diesel generator multi-block. Okay. Well, that was actually quite simple enough. I'm going to now build a second one right here. And there we go. I actually somehow knew that off by heart. Didn't actually have to look at the book. So, now, we can actually have redstone control on it right here if we wanted to, but what I want now is to grab myself some pipe, and yeah, elite mechanical pipe would do, hook this in, oh, I need one more, okay, I need to make a couple more of these, okay, couple pipes, upgrade the pipes, make elite pipes, there we go. I could make the ultimate ones, I have made some advanced alloy, but you know what, we actually don't need this. For what we're doing, this is perfectly fine. Now grab myself a configurator. And now I think I could push, make this push if I wanted to, but I'm just going to extract out of it anyway. So these things should just turn on. Actually, you know what? I think they are redstone controlled. So they actually do need to be turned on with a lever. So maybe not. Do they need to be inputted both at, at both sides at the same time? Maybe it does need to be plugged in all together. So if I run a cable. No. Um, why isn't this working? Will it not wait? Hang on. Does it have to be pointed into push? Or does it not work with these cables? It might need the fluid pipe. Okay, hang on. Let me try this. So if I was to put pipe the whole way around, 
this is technically the front facing the east. So the front, if I set that to push and all this disabled, except for input on the back. I wish this thing had an interface. I hope it isn't a case where it won't turn on because there's no cable connecting the power output. Let me just see. If I was to grab some cable. Is there liquid in this pipe? Uh, I have no idea what's going on. I'm after losing a ton of fluid now because of the mechanical pipes. Wait, this isn't connecting. Them pipes aren't connecting. Am I missing something? I actually have no idea what's going on. I need to look up a quick tutorial or something on this thing. Well, after a quick look at a video, I believe this will only work if it'll have an output using the immersive engineer engi engineer engineering uh, energy input hello pigman so that means we need to grab ourselves a mv connector uh actually i want to grab a high voltage one because well this thing's gonna output a lot of power and i want to make sure i can gather it all at the same time well, output the maximum we can. So, we need a HV wire connector. And I believe once... Oh, look at it. Yeah, it made sound. Okay, it's working. Now, does it work with this pipe or will it work with another pipe? Let me test. So, for instance, let me just connect this here. It's going in, but I don't know where it's going. So, I'm actually going to leave this like that. But what I should do is grab myself a cable and bring it up to put this here. Actually, you know what? I don't need a cable at all. If I just grab myself a my plug, put the plug right here and then break this cable, grab myself a high voltage connector. And uh, no, a, is it a relay or a connector I need? No, a relay. I need a relay. Insulating glass, which requires iron dust and green dye. Uh, right, I need to make a couple of those. Okay, so HV wire is going to require insulating glass. I need a couple of pieces of that. HV relay. And I'm going to need HV wire, which is aluminium wire, which I'm going to need aluminium wait do i have no aluminium or is it a u okay for a second i thought i had no aluminium grab my engineer's hammer craft a couple of those eight wire cutters combine that there make aluminium wire now if i look up hv look at the wire i need steel wire which is steel plates Okay, now steel wire, wire cutters, makes a couple pieces of that, and now HV wire, like that. Now I think I can insulate this now as well, uh, it does not look like I can make insulated HV wire, but as long as I don't touch it, I should be okay. So I think what I need to do is actually get another, I'm probably doing this completely wrong. Um. I think these are all relays, aren't they? Yeah. They transfer power. Let me just test here. If I was to put a relay on this, that okay, that does not connect. So the relay is not the thing we need. What I need is a connector. That's a yeah, HV connector. And the thing with the HV connector is it only connects to one point. So if I was to make a new network, because this is technically gonna have a new input. I'll call it the diesel. Is that how spelled diesel? Uh, S E L. Diesel gen. My spelling's quite bad. Uh, public. 
purple. Actually, we'll put it on green. Create. Set this one to that. And now we grab ourselves a point. Just one point. Come over to... Oh, too fast. Come down here. If I can get into a good spot. What's above us? Uh, okay. Mm. How fast can these uh, universal cables work? Transfer rates, capacity. Okay, they should be able to handle it, no problem. So if I just come around the back here. Uh, let me come in here. Put it back. Uh, I should be able to put a point right here. So this guy, set the diesel gen, and grab this cable, come up, and put you back, there we go, close these, come in here, how's our power input? Okay, it's flying up already, that's exactly what we want, and I think that's just of one connection. Now the issue is we cannot connect to more, so... Is this shared between three, or is it connected to one? That's what I want to know. Hmm. You know what? I have an idea. We're going to move this slightly. I need to make a couple more of these HV wire connectors. There we go. I need to hook them up here. Turn this guy on. Grab this cable. I'm going to break this. Just need one connection. Uh, just grab myself more pipe. There we go. And now this pole I have set up at the back here. I'm actually going to center it. So break it. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put a LV relay on it. And then from that relay. I'm going to have. Just right above it. I'm going to have a. HV wire connector. And a plug. And then I just need to invert this, like that, so it's connected. Now I just grab all my HV wire. And I just need to connect each one. One to there. One to here. 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 Now, I better not touch this, or I'd probably end up dying. Out of curiosity, how much damage? There's no power going through it. Okay. I'm not taking any damage. Interesting. Now, why aren't you turned on? Is it because there's no biodiesel left? Oh, now you're turned on. I am out of flight power. There's still 500 buckets, so yeah, this is actually quite fine. This should work a lot more efficiently. Let's go check our power input. So in here, as you can see, we're generating a ton of power. What's our input? 10,000 RF. And how much is this point back here generating for us? He is inputting 4,000. I'm going to disable the limit. I'm going to enable chunk loading. And the output is 4,000 RF. Now, why is it saying only 4,000? Isn't two generators meant to run and generate over 8,000 together? Or is this cable not capable of transferring that much power? Hmm. Well, we'll just have to leave it as it is and see what happens. But as we are right now, we are generating more power than we're actually using, which is perfect. The only thing is, these things are actually quite loud. And what chunk are these in? Okay, they look like they're on their own separate chunk. So I'm going to enable chunk loading on this guy. And I'm going to grab a secret point. And I'm just going to break the ground here. I'm going to plug a point right here. And I'm just going to select random network. Enable chunk loading. And then I can just come out and hide it. And then these things will be forever chunk loaded. And we will not have to worry about it. Okay. So. Now. Let's work on making this arc furnace. Okay, I just put on some ear defenders because that thing 
is actually quite loud. Now, I could probably turn down my sounds manually if I wanted to, but I'm just doing this for the time being while we're here because we're not going to be sitting around this thing forever. So, if we come back to the start, we want to go to Heavy Machinery, Arc Furnace. So, we need eight steel sheet metal. Okay, let's grab that. So, steel sheet metal is this one right here. That's black steel sheet metal. How do I just get regular steel sheet metal? Oh, this is one here. All right. So a couple pieces of steel sheet metal. Next, we're going to need eight, six blocks of steel. Okay, that's not that big of a problem. Steel. I think it said six. So there we go. Next, we need 14 steel sheet metal slabs. Okay, I didn't know we need slabs as well. So how many of them did I need? 14, so a little bit more. Now we need 27 Reinforced Blast Brick. Right. So, Reinforced Blast Brick is steel. And how much was this again? 27? Yes, 27. Okay. So we need to make 27 Blast Brick first. So, 20, 24, 27. Okay. And if we look at steel... Okay, this actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Just grab all 27 of that. There we go. And that's everything we need for an arc furnace, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to need a projector for this one because this is going to be quite a difficult one to build. So let me grab my projector. There we go. Nope. Shift right click. How do I open this thing up again? Ah, selection mode. Okay, that's how you work it. So we want arc furnace select. And which way we want it to... Yes. And I'm going to put it roughly here. Wait, no. Projection mode, there. And the back is right up against it. That's fine. So, as usual, just put this in my hotbar. Grab the steel scaffolding and figure out where we need to put everything. A bit more scaffolding. And it's done. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Grab ourselves an engineer's hammer. Right click this here, boom. The hottest topic. All right, put everything away. And that's actually it. Where's my saw? There it is. So now we've got ourselves an arc furnace. Now the only thing is this arc furnace is actually gonna require a lot more power. And I think it gets powered across the back. Yes, it does. So if I grab myself some cable and run this cable across the back here, just to where this is. Now it's powered, but it won't work until we've made a special item for it. We need to make graphite electrodes. The graphite electrodes are made using these guys, which is from a villager trader. Okay, I guess we can't make those because we don't have a villager who to do that. So our option is to smelt hop graphite, which is made in an industrial squeezer with coke coal dust. So if we grab our squeezer that's there, we can see it has an extra slot here. So if we were to grab some graphite, we have three blocks of coke coal. Now this hop needs to be uh, made coke coal dust, which requires a massive crusher. Right, we need to make this guy now. I was not expecting to do that to this this episode. Hopefully I can fit it all in because this is actually going to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I completely forgot about all this stuff. Right click this block. There we go. Crusher. Now we just grab ourselves a chest. Because of the way this thing is going to run. But the chest right here. Now we want to grab ourselves our cable. Because we need to plug this thing in now as well. Uh... Oh, no, I built it backwards. Hang on. All right, now it's the right way around so that we can plug in this power here. Run this power across. There we go. Now it's been powered. Just chuck this in here. There we go. That will just get crushed up. This will output coke dust. Then we come over to our squeezer. I am going to disconnect this pipe for just a second. Connect you in here. And I'm going to stop the seeds from inputting, and I'm going to take all these out. Will this not work because there's plant oil in here? Okay. I'm going to break one block. 
And I'm going to put it back down and restart the machine. Camera, which block I need to right click. There we go. Put this inside. It is no longer powered because I need to put down the power cable. Uh, Coke dust. This should work. Hop graphite. Air. No power. Why aren't... Oh, wait. You're not getting powered anymore. Why? This should be working. Okay, now it's getting connected, which is weird. Because it was not working before. Coke dust in here. It is pressing. Okay, now we're making hop graphite. That's fine. Uh, that's three. How much of this stuff would we actually need? Graphite rod requires four. And that's four dust per one. I don't even have enough. Okay, this is actually going to be a lot more difficult than I thought. Oh, wait. Actually, I do have a bit of coke dust left. I might be able to put that in here. Alright, now this goes in here. So much for making just a simple generator and just a aqua furnace for simple recycling. Oh god, this has turned out to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. So this is going to give us only two rods. The thing needs three to work. So I need even more coke dust. Okay, I'm just thinking. You hardly think we can use a mimic cream to duplicate one of these. It is possible that a mimic cream could duplicate that. And um, there's only one way to find out, and that's to make the actual press. So our press that we're going to need is going to require steel scaffolding. Uh, I think two pieces. It's been a while since I made this thing. Let me just quickly look at the recipe. Uh, okay, so we need uh, redstone conveyor belt. Okay. So conveyor belt. There we go. We're going to need a piston. There we go. We're going to need a redstone engineering block. There we go. And it's done everything we need. And we need one heavy engineering block. And we'll do it right here. So. You. You. Redstone engineering block. Piston. Heavy engineering block. Conveyor belt. We're going to have it go out this way. And I think I just right click the piston. How do I right click this thing? Is it a piston? Yes it is. But the piston has to face down the way. Not up the way. Down down the way. There we go. Alright. Now we just grab some cable. It is plug it in. Now if we have to make our actual press. Uh, metal press one. So this is going to require this. And we're going to need three steel. Okay. One, two, three. We're going to need wire cutters. There we go. I'm trying to go as fast as I can because this episode is going to be way too long if I don't hurry up. All right. Put this in here. Make this guy wire cutters that made one of these. Perfect. Come over here now. Put this on. Grab. I need to smelt this now. One, two, three, four. That'll come true. And make a rod, drop it out. It's only got an integrity of 50? I'm not expecting this to work, but by any chance that it does, I'll be so happy. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, it used it up. Wait, what? Okay, hang on. Wait, 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 something's not right. How do I repair the integrity of this thing? Can I enchant it with in indestructible? Just out of curiosity, will this work? Okay, the integrity's going up. Okay. Now, actually, just will the arc furnace just work on one? Let's test something. Let me just grab, like, a sword. Uh, plain old gold sword. No, it won't smelt. Maybe you have to wait for this thing to get full. If it doesn't work on two, then I don't know what's wrong with it. 
but it looks like it should. Maybe it doesn't work on many broken stuff. Let me try and smelt up some ore. Put the two of them in. Not working. What if I put this in? Not working. Right. So I need two more hop graphite. Right. All right. If I've done everything correctly, this should be the last piece of coal that we need. And we come over here. We can put this in here. It'll make one more hop graphite. There we go. Now that's two. Now we just come inside and smelt it. Our two ingots. Now come back over to the actual metal press. Chuck all four up onto that. Make our rod. And now, hopefully, this thing will work. Okay, yes, okay, it, it does require all three. As you can see, it is working, it's pouring out the materials, and it actually doesn't have anywhere to go, unless I put a chest on the front. So if I look up chest, uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to grab an ender chest. Uh, where is our ender chest? There it is. Ender chest, actually, I'm going to require two of these, because one's going to go on the front to export all the resources, and I actually need one right on the back here, to export all the slag that's going to build up in the system. So this way it will not have to worry about. Because once it fills up a slag it slows down. And it stops working. So let's test it. So if we look up swords. And we have a bunch of iron and gold swords. If we were to take out a bunch of these swords. Does it matter of durability? Let's take out the duties. I don't need this anymore. Put all these in here. Oh, they're all smelting. Okay, so if they're less than an ingot's worth of durability, we'll get nuggets. Uh, for some reason, this guy won't go in. Because he's a tetra iron sword. He's my first tier one. But the likes of glowing, steel, lapis. Actually, no, I can't use lapis. But a couple of pieces of gold. We can now, like, pretty much just break down all these swords that we have into usable resources. So, I'm going to end it there. Sorry if this episode was a bit long, um, but we managed to get a diesel generator going and an arc furnace for recycling. And I have no idea how we're going to automate making that an automated recycler. But at least now we can just come over here and duplicate or our ingots whenever we need to. So, if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. And don't forget to vote on the poll that's going to be in the description and in the pinned comment on what mod pack we're going to play next. So... Without further ado, goodbye.